Having a default value for the placeholder of a date picker or time picker control in Power Apps can significantly improve the user experience, reduce errors, and guide users in providing the desired input. It adds clarity and usability to the date picker or time picker control in Power Apps. For example, in my previous demonstrated sample Power Apps blood pressure log, when I open input pager and give the date and time for the current measurement, now current measurement date and time popped up for me in the date and time edit box. I need to check the current date, which is uh, 27 June 2023, and time is uh, 16 hours 41 minutes before giving the inputs. If we can set the current date and time based on the function today and now for those fields as default recommend value, then the app's user experience will get a lot of improvements. To set such default value for the placeholder of a data picker control and time picker control in Power Apps, you can follow these steps. Uh, first, find and edit your apps in uh, Power Apps Studio. On the left panel, the tree view expanded the edit screen 1, then the edit form 1, then the date card 2. Let's first choose the data value 1 by either clicking it on left tree view panel or by clicking data box in app input pager. Then on the right side, the data picker section, click the advanced tab of data value one. On the data section, find the date picker control box of the default date. Enter the formula as a function now. The now function returns the current date and time. It includes the both the date and time component. The today function inside the forward slash part is a comment and it to indicate that now function is being used as a default value for the date picker control specifically to set the date without the time component. We have completed the default value setting for date. For default value setting for time picker hour, uh, click hours picker control. On right panel, in the default property of our drop down box, to do the following modifications as replace parent dot default by now function. Inside the quotation mark, and in the square bracket. Inside the bracket and dollar sign, dash nine, en, dash nine, gb. The dollar sign is a special character used to indicate the beginning of a language. The en represents the language code for English. The gb represents the region code for the United Kingdom. When we included the part inside of a bracket into the default property of a time picker control, it ensures that ours is displayed use the English language format for the United Kingdom. Last, we use the same way to set the default value for the minutes drop-down box. And have a test. It is working as we expected for the date time pickers control and time pickers control in the apps. Save the modified apps. We can publish it. Uh, that is it from this video. Where the default value in the placeholder is not mandatory feature. But as previous mentioned, it can significantly improve the user experience, saving time, reduce error, and guide users in providing the desired input. 
Hope this video can bring some help for your Power Apps development projects. Thanks for watching, and if you like to watch more videos from my channel, please press subscribe button. See you in next video.